Hello there and welcome to Skill Fusion. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to use some of the different tools on our website. So we've got uh, about 118 tools at the moment. And it's a marketplace where anyone can come on and make their own tools on the website. And all the tools are what we call block-based or multi-step tools. So and that allows us to kind of get more from the AI. So they go through a sequence of steps to get the final output, some of them up to 60 steps long. And that's how we're able to have tools like this that can write entire books from a single idea. So you put in your idea, I'll go through a bunch of steps and your finished book will come out the other end. There's a whole host of other tools on there as well. So that's all the tools, which you can see we've got business, marketing, images, audio tools, and so on and so on. So there's quite a few different tools there and they all use the same approach. They all work through a sequence of blocks. All you need to do, you click on the tool you're interested in. You have to sign up to the site and then most of the tools are free to have a play with until your free credits run out. And uh, once you've clicked the use tool, and you'll be presented with a sequence of blocks like this. It can look a bit complicated, but you literally just answer the questions and do what the tool tells you to do. So if you get lost, it will always tell you here at the top which block you're on. So we're on block zero now. And I'll start with this one, the short one. So let's say, it says, what would you like your picture to look like? And I would put it four times. So what this does is it actually comes up with four detailed descriptions of possible pictures based on your simple command um, and then it will draw the four images for you and then see it's just kind of a quick way to get four images at a time and instead of one image at a time basically and it means you don't have to write the prompt and um, so you can see it says now we're on block three a few different types of blocks as well which will come across uh, some of them so these ones are called prompt blocks talk to the ai and then image blocks, draw images. Obviously, audio blocks will turn text into an audio file um, and a few other types as well. Sometimes you can't see all the blocks, so the ones you don't need to see are hidden, basically. But you can do, sometimes the prompt will show you what it's done, and sometimes it won't if the creator felt like he didn't need to see it, really. Yeah. So there's the, it's come up with like four descriptions there. And it, it's drawn the four images here. Well, it's not loaded properly. It's, the a little bit slow. Here we go. So you get them to draw four pictures for us, and then you can click on them and save them. So yeah, it's just, just a basic tool, one of our most basic tools in the image generator. Um, so yeah, that's what you can do. So if you do it in a large tool like this, this one's going to write a 10,000 word story. You can see it goes through a lot of steps. But most of them are just prompts. So it's just a case of waiting for it to get to the end. Every now and then it might pop up with a question. So one of the book writers will ask you how many characters you want um, and how many chapters you want things like that and then I'll use the image generator as well to draw a picture like a cover for your story and things like that more advanced usage if you're interested is with these prompts the AI does so you could start running it pause it if you wanted to if you want to go if you want to use it again you literally just go back to the first block change your answer and it'll just carry on from there so for example here uh, I've already read it previously and asked it to write a sci-fi story, which is my go-to <laughs> when, when I'm testing the stories and things like that. So you'll see it, it generated a title for the story. What I can do is I can go in and I can edit that title and press update and the tool will resume from there from, from the bit that I edited. What will happen is because I've given it a different title for the story, it will write a different story based on the title. And then it comes up with a plan for the story. And again, I can have a look at that. I could pause it if I wanted to just kind of find myself more time and so I could pause it once it's to block free go in edit the story idea and again that will affect the story that's right so yeah you can edit the outputs on some of them and uh, same again the characters for the story I could change them so if you already had kind of the plan for a story a short story for example in this one uh, or a full length story on, on some of the other tools and um, then yeah you can just go in and kind of replace what the AI is coming up with or make sure idea the AI's idea to get your own unique book and then other tools for example so this one it's web content to help you run higher on google again it'll write a plan for the article you can just go in and you can kind of alter the plan to improve the quality or add in your own ideas and so you can add the prompts so keep that in mind and the other thing to keep in mind with some of the larger tools um, like this is it will go in a loop so it's because this is writing like full length stories it's like 60 000 word stories if you specify 10 chapters so it gives you free ideas. You choose which idea you want. So it'll run through this as, as you as it's making its way through. It will write that chapter. So write chapter one, and then it will come back to block twelve and give you free ideas for the next chapter. So it will go through the loop ten times, 
So yeah, I don't want to be if it does that. It's intentional. It's just a hard to get more output from the tool, basically. So yeah, it's intentional. It'll just keep doing it until it's in the full 10 or 12 chapters. So all you need to do is just kind of do as the AI tells you to. As you'll see, it's kind of, with our tools, it's not chatbots as such. It's all the steps and stuff and all the prompts for the AI been predefined by the person who made the tool and it's it's been tested to where it's high quality reliable output and um, yeah that's pretty much it so i hope that made sense so for, yeah for the majority of tools you literally just answer the question on the first block and just let it do its thing and if it pops up with another question just answer that one and um, that's it that's how you use the tools uh, if you have any problems there's a little chat here which will message us as well so on live chat so yeah if you get stuck let us know Hopefully uh, that's enough to get you started.